Hey, walking downtown in San Francisco today. Found this really cool alley. Check it out. Really neat. Um, this is Maiden Lane. It's pretty nice. So I want to discuss a little bit about uh, strengths. So strengths and weaknesses. Uh, what what do you focus on, right? So we're all born with certain strengths, weaknesses, and as we grow we can choose kind of two paths really or both uh, one path is to uh, is to kind of work on your weaknesses and i think a lot of people focus on that because they're so apparent right you might not wake up early you might not be consistent you might not be you know one of these people um, and then the the second thing that some people focus on is not weaknesses but their strengths right but they only focus on the strengths. So, what's the rule of thumb? Here's kind of my rule. Uh, so, whew, this is shaky, trying to get up, up this hill. So my rule of thumb is this. If you are, uh, here, and I'll stop for this one. Um, if you are someone that has uh, these kind of, these are like, like suicidal weaknesses, um, I'll call them, right? Because, uh, let me duck around here for a second. So, these kind of weaknesses are weaknesses that you can't, uh, you can't avoid because they're career ruining or the relationship ruining, right? Maybe you're someone that is constantly cheating or maybe you're someone that is constantly late to work, right? Or these kind of things. Um, there are certain things that you have to fix if they're, they're your weaknesses. Even um, even if they're not your strong points, you, they at least have to meet par, right? So this doesn't mean you have to be Mr. Clockwork or anything like that, but you do have to hit a bare minimum. Uh, and I know that because I'm someone that's fairly inconsistent given my personality type. So you have to do that. Um, but after you meet that bare minimum on your weaknesses, now this is just your weaknesses, zero in on your strengths. You want to optimize your strengths. Don't worry about if you're a good salesman, or maybe you're, you know, not a uh, good engineer, uh, but you want to improve, right? If try to find the things that you're naturally talented at and improve those things, because they're going to make you most happy, and they're also going to be a place that you can go much further. So, so that's how I frame this, and I think that if more people did this they wouldn't be wasting so much time trying to fix something that is never going to be there, right? So you're never, if you have a really bad quality uh, and you get it to par, but you're like, no, I want to be really good at this. It's much more difficult for you to raise that thing from par to excellent. You can do it, but you might not like yourself in the end. And it's, it could be very difficult versus just keeping that at par, finding somebody else that's good at that thing, even though you're at par with it, um, and then moving to something that you're strong at. You know, maybe you're good at talking to people. For me, I know that my strong points really are uh, my ability to talk with people, to make friends, make uh, people feel good around me, that kind of thing. Um, and I think that that is, you know, you, where I'm starting to focus a lot more of my attention on. Uh, and, you know, I had to get par with things like consistency, right? Or professionalism or, or uh, you know, showing up to work on time, those kind of things, right? Like those are the things I have to hit par. Now, am I the best at it? Nah, by any means, the monotony isn't really something I crave. It's more of a, uh, I'm looking for variety and newness, right? I'm looking for novelty, those kind of things. But with that being said, it doesn't mean that I'm, I can be okay with just sitting down and uh, you know, not getting to work on time and that kind of stuff. Anyway, what do you think? Um, for all of you viewers that are out there, all five of you. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, let me know. I'll talk to you later. Peace.